let's look at problem number 12 so in this we have uh, tra two traders one of them is given 100 left shoes the other is 100 right shoes and uh, they both have uh, perfect complements as their utility function as preferences uh, so we have to find the efficient allocation okay so let's uh, construct the edgeworth box first of all so the edgeworth box will look like this okay uh, almost a square so this is uh, origin of agent a uh, and this is origin of agent b so this is your left shoes and this is your sorry this is your right shoes and this is your left shoes so this length is uh, 100 because the total endowment is 100 and this length is uh, 99 because the total endowment is 99 now we have been given that uh, a trader one has 100 left shoes so this is the uh, starting point of the uh, exchange economy this is the endowment point e now agent a is uh, a line of vertices it will start from this point and it would look like this so this will be the point 100 comma 100 okay so it will be something like this and agent b's ic uh, would start from here and it would look something like this okay so obviously they do not extend beyond the uh, beyond the edgeworth box i have just extended it beyond the edgeworth box for understanding sake that they do not intersect they are basically going to be parallel to each other uh, now given any budget line from here so the idea is that both the individuals have the same budget line so start from any budget line like this okay so given this budget line agent a will always pick agent b will always pick this point and agent a will always pick this point so they are always going to pick different points so there will be no uh, equilibrium allocation in this situation that is not to, to say that uh, there won't be any trade trade will happen because uh, this uh, this in trade in this general direction is perito improvement but you can never find a uh, uh, competitive equilibrium so there is no competitive equilibrium here so the answer is uh, basically going to be none of the above